Good afternoon. Good afternoon, members, for the post uh, lunch session of ACFE chapter annual conference. Uh, welcome, Prabhakar Ji. Uh, introducing about uh, Prabhakar Ji, he has uh, uh, post graduated in physics from Delhi University, joined Indian Police Service in the year 1987. He was allotted to the erstwhile Andhra Pradesh cadre, jo joined Inter Intelligence Bureau in the year 1993 on the basis of permanent secondment. He has superannuated from Intelligence Bureau as Special Director in, the, in March 2020. In Andhra Pradesh, he served as Assistant Superintendent of Police and Crime Front Projeto Subdivision of Kadapa District and as an additional Superintendent and Superintendent of Police in Naxal Infested Adilabad and Nalgonda Districts, respectively. He has also served as Deputy Commissioner of Police Hyderabad City and Commandant of Special Armed Forces. During uh, about 27 years of his service in the Intelligence Bureau, he had field assignments in insurgency affected northeastern sector, sector, extremist affected eastern zone, and in western region handling uh, counter, counter espionage, counter terrorism, and counter organized crime. Prabhakarji has authored two books one, Operation High Greva, and two, Operation Sudarshan Chakra, which is a sequel to Operation High Greva both to expose the designs and modus of modus operandi of terrorist outfit which was responsible for the Mumbai train blast. These books are revolving around the around a character known as Ravi Kumar, head of the Central Counterterrorism Counter Terrorism Command. He, he changed his name. He just he changed his name. I'm joking. He's of Intelligence Bureau, whom he reckons as his alter ego. Uh, he has uh, uh, several decorations uh, from Indian Police, uh, Indian Police Medal, President's Police Medal, and Khatin Seva Padak. Publications are, uh, apart from the above two, are Reforming Intelligence in Fifth Generation Warfare, Indian, po uh, Indian Police Journal, April 2020, Making India's Intelligence Accountable, uh, uh, Smell the Coffee, Indian Civil Police is Facing Existential Crisis. Smell the coffee. Info Calypsi has arrived. Counter nationalism strategic loss leading to tactical setbacks and pandemic national security concerns. All, all articles published in uh, the website www.deepstrat.in. Now I'll tell you uh, house which, which, which consists of uh, the links for these two books in. Uh, just have a look, and uh, you can uh, probably have a hand of hand on the book. Yeah, with the, with the permission of the hey, I'll add two more things. He is the originator of streamlining the economic intelligence in the country in Intelligence Bureau, and then extensive work. I'm proud to share with you that we have worked together on economic intelligence arena and working together even now in very very sensitive issues of national importance and he has done overseas postings also where he has done phenomenal extraordinary things for the security of the nation which cannot be disclosed by him by virtue of his job he handled. I am proud to be his friend for the past 35-40 years and very very warm welcome to Prabhakar. Thank you Prabhakar for accepting our invitation and addressing us today. Thank you. Thank you, Sharat. Thank you, Raj Gopal Garu. Thank you, ACFE, for uh, inviting me for, for this, for a talk uh, on this forum. Uh, I was under the weather, uh, uh, but I have recovered. So hopefully I'll be able to talk in a manner which is articulate and you can comprehend all. And I will try my best and uh, try to talk about my experience and knowledge in OSINT. But before that, I mean, this is a time, great time for honor of Andhra Pradesh. I think everybody is thrilled and dancing on Natu Natu. Uh, <laughs> even, <laughs> even, even German ambassador, Korean embassy, just now I saw a clip of Japanese uh, uh, I mean, diplomats. They are all dancing on Natu Natu. I don't know whether they understand the meaning, but yes, the beat is so good that you also get 
uh, get, I mean, a drive to just gyrate, I mean, throw your legs on that uh, music. And so being associated with Andhra Pradesh, uh, it gives me a sense of pride also. And I hope all of you uh, must have enjoyed the moment. Well, that that's a part of OS Int, you know, that is uh, because this is, uh, I mean, this is because of the OS information, open source information that even a thing, thing like, I um, mean, uh, alien language, um, and because of the tune itself, the alien language becomes so important that Korean, Japanese, Germans, I, they all start uh, um, uh, enjoying the thing. And this all percolated, this all disseminated with on the on a platform uh, that is open source. Now that is the beauty of this open source that anybody and everybody can have access to it. Those who can understand, they will derive meaning out of it. Those who don't understand, but enjoy the rhythm and the language, they will follow that. So that is what, and now, you know, that the transition now, the transition from OS information to OS intelligence, is that is what is important and relevant to us. Now intelligence, I mean, it has a very many facets, but uh, to understand intelligence in a real sense, we must understand that intelligence is meant only to improve the quality of decision making. I mean, it is very impossible. It is almost impossible, very difficult to get into get the complete intelligence at all time. Most of the time, we have some facet, some input, some ingredients. We join the dots. That is what in intelligence parlance we call analysis. We analyze the information. And then we come, come to a conclusion that per, perhaps this could be a thing which um, this could be the shape of things uh, because of these many uh, dots. And it is our ingenuity, our experience, our knowledge, which gives the shape to uh, those disparate dots. Now that is what where information transforms into intelligence. And that is the case where, I mean, your or our skill becomes very, very important. The thing is that nowadays, our physical space is overwhelmed by cyber space. Let us accept it. We, we do not, we are not remaining at one, remaining at one place. We are not confined our, at a place. Earlier, uh, during earlier times, you know, Natu Natu would have been perhaps um, um, sung and enjoyed only in Andhra Pradesh and the uh, similar um, uh, knowledge knowing knowledge knowing areas but now it has the cyber space as such that it has engulfed the entire uh, physical space that everybody now is uh, aware of natu natu so this, this being a very crude example but it simply goes to tell us that now we are slave of cyber space and the thing that are floating around in cyber space is so diverse so disparate and so important that we have to extract right things from that cloud of to derive a meaning. Otherwise, what will happen that we will extract so many things which are of no use, and then we we will we'll start um, I mean, traversing a wrong path. That being so, we must understand that the first thing about the OS int OS intelligence is that I mean, let us first understand that OS int is something which is publicly available. We don't have to make any effort for that. Now, there is a difference between national security intelligence and OS intelligence, because and I'm, 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 I'll, I'll try to explain that they are not mutually exclusive. They are dependent on each other. But then national security intelligence is primarily, de primarily dependent on unearthing deliberately hidden facts and the facts which are deliberately hidden by somebody. And now OSINT is something that is publicly available, that is available to everybody. It is not deliberately hidden. It, it is only hidden because we do not know where, from where we can find out. Now that is the difference. Now, in, But nowadays, people say that 95% of intelligence is available in the public platform. That is very true. But then we have to derive meaning out of that to understand what, what it means. 
And the thing is that when it has to transform into a national security intelligence, we have to find out that it's minuscule, deliberately hidden fact that will make it a complete intelligence. And that is where we define it. One, one, intel, one information which is deliberately hidden, we, we define it as a secret intelligence. And one information which is available publicly, that is what we call open source intelligence and OS int. Now that is that being so, there are many forms, many, <clears throat> I'm sorry, there are, <clears throat> I'm just uh, of the cough. Uh, there are many forms where, you know, at many places, this information are placed. We have to find out from where we get these things. The best, the most important aspect of OSINT is to know from where we can find the detail and where the detail is there. Now, actually, you know, when you when you reduce the um, um, any kind of OS int analysis or any kind of intelligence analysis, it it gets reduced to only four things, five things. Sorry, four, four W's and one H. Four W is that who, where, how, when, and what, and the H is sorry, not uh, how who, when, what where is the four w's and how is the fifth is the h so these four w's and h they are very important to understand any kind of intelligence so whenever we want to understand corporate intelligence or any other aspect related to corporate intelligence our analysis should only revolve revolve around these four ingredients four w's and h i mean uh, jokingly uh, I mean, in our uh, par, in our uh, circle, intelligence circle, we call it four wives and a husband scenario. But then that is how we uh, uh, we analyze uh, intelligence. I mean, um, I mean, ingredients of intelligence which are which are to be become operational, which are to be become investigatable. Otherwise. If any one of these criteria is missing, we have to find out and fill it up through an analysis of data, analysis of information, or through gathering various information from other platforms. Now, as far as OSINT is concerned, I mean, there are plethora, <clears throat> plethora of sites where we can get all these four kinds of information. Now, just for example, take a DIN number director, whatever, uh, DIN number, from where you can get the details of directors. There are uh, MCA, uh, on MCA data, you can get details of company website. Uh, com uh, you can detail details of company. So there are web websites or other articles available in the open domain where you can get several uh, information about the person, about, about, about the entity, I should not say person, about the entity. And then anything which is related to the entity can be also asserted from various websites. And you know, there are tools available. If you just type on Google, the tools available for OSN, they, they, you will get so many. I mean, it is very, now it is very difficult to remember. And every day a new tool is coming up. <clears throat> Uh, there, there is one website I just forgot. Him, and I'm trying to recollect that name. Maybe I'll uh, find out and pass it on to uh, Sharat so that it can be uh, circulated to the members. That website is very useful because it gives an analytical and uh, um, um, idea of how to find what and from where. Like from from email, how can you find all these four four W and H? And uh, like from the articles, how can you find a 4W and H? So there, there is, a, uh, I think, it, um, I, I'll find out and because, because of my illness, I could not get hold of that. Uh, I'll find out and pa pass it on to um, Sharat. Uh, I must suggest that it's, it's, it's a kind of manual and all of you must have access to that uh, uh, analytical tool, uh, which will help you in getting uh, um, equipped with the right process of uh, um, intelligence analysis or OS, OS int analysis, I would say. Sure. Now that is, uh, 
aspect of o os intelligence which uh, uh, is very we must uh, now I'll, I'll go by I, I, i'll make you and i'll i'll try to uh, develop a thesis on which our os int analysis as as far as co corporate intelligence is concerned uh, moves around uh, you know everybody every entity is embedded in a social context like we in the we, we humans we are also embedded in a social context we have relatives we have uh, friends we have acquaintances we have associates now similarly a corporate entity a company is also embedded in its corporate context or a corporate social context they have uh, a supplier group of supplier companies they have they are group of uh, other line companies we uh, supply various kind of uh, inputs or uh then they have ma marketing uh, um, entities we are related. so everything you know we we can deduce that it is a, it's it's a social context in which an entity is embedded and whether it it, it it that entity is an individual or a company now given that our our os int analysis will revolve around the social network analysis of the entity we are trying to explore now that is as when i said social network analysis i mean that network in which that entity is embedded now that is the thing which is very very important for os int as far as uh, for corporate intelligence as far as os int is concerned i'll cite i'll give you two examples which we did i'll i will not quote the name of company but while um basharat is aware of this investigation when we are trying to advise a company for merger then we found out that that company had that in the one individual in that company had a link with a politician which with a kara with a, <coughs> sorry have some water have some water no easy, easy 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 yeah that one in the, the one director of that company has liaison with a politician who who had uh, charges of corruption against him now that is a very very vital input secondly we also find out found out though it was not known but it was found out that the person uh, sorry the company has in, was engaged in a litigation with a supplier we, uh, and that uh, for late payment and other things now the, the again in the in another case we found out that the one of the director of the company was uh, related to a social group in which he was trying to instigate people instigate people instigate unions to act against the management now these are the things which came out of social out of os int analysis we did not we did not go and ask anybody on that os in analysis because once we started uh, uh, scanning the documents scanning the name of the company in the on the internet we found that there is a court case against this company and then we found that the, what was the nature of the court case that it came out that it was a uh, case with the supplier now os in analysis can also show undesirable linkages because you know there are linkedin uh, social group um, in which we come to know about the associates of the people and through one of the linkedin analysis we came to know that he one one um, i would say that he was person probably from accounts department he was very pally with one supplier now that's a red flag if that comes through os in we can certainly um, um, uh, launch investigation and find out what is uh, uh, what what is the nature of relationship maybe it is quite possible that he is related by blood but that is a different issue altogether but the initial red flag is that uh, a, a person having um, uh, constant i mean interaction or constant communication with a supplier uh, is a red flag so now that these are the things which can come out of social network analysis again it's it, now I, i this this is what happened in the corporate case but in one case in a terrorist financing case we found out that you know though one person 
he was not uh, um, um, very active so in on social media the top man of the particular group he was not very active on the social media but then his deputies they are very active on the social media and then on on the analysis of their communication and their linkages it came to know or we came to know that they are linked to so many they are linked to I mean, the terrorist group and they were mobilizing funds and obviously it was being transmitted to the uh, uh, the terrorist group so these are all open source media they, through uh, their uh, it was established through their uh, uh, utterances on blogs so the, through their utterances on uh, in uh, say um, in interviews and other things so the open source intelligence gives a lot of idea about how the person is behaving in socially uh, i mean socially in a social context how he is behaving and now that behavior is very important to understand and it can lead to some red flags which is crucial for fraud investigation after all in fraud investigation well, what we what we want to decipher first as a red flag undesirable contacts undesirable dealings i mean after that only we can go on to uh, account uh, uh, examination of accounts and other things um, if somebody is going uh, i mean um, uh, like uh, i mean uh, uncontrolled horse going through uh, acquiring so many businesses or so many uh, taking so much uh, i mean large amount of no loans i mean that that will that will certainly create uh, raise a red flag on uh, for us for uh, fraud examiners like us so the thing what i am trying to emphasize very importantly is that it is the social network analysis through oasint that will give us a very important clue on how the behavior of a person or a group is shaping up and how they are whether 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 they are uh, whether there are any red flags in that <clears throat> so and that for that i would say every day there is a new tool coming the you open any any uh, any uh, i mean you just type sorry that you just type 10 best tool tools for oasing every day you will find one new new tool being uh, generated and there are few things which are already there and uh, these there are few prominent ones which we sh we should always uh, exploit and that is uh, obviously I, i would say linkedin twitter and all those they are all known facebook they are all known and people are are all um, there are many large number of people are there on these um, social media group uh, sites and these are all very active and very uh, 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 are uh, publicly available uh, readily well then i would rather suggest that uh, as an examiner as an investigator uh, we should try to get hold of new to new tools which are quite penetrative a uh, penetrative in the not in the sense uh, of uh, uh, being intrusive to the extent that uh, um, uh, uh, compromising privacy but then whatever is available on the uh, open source they'll be able to filter it more effectively and there are new tools and every every man i would suggest all uh, i mean associates like us they should keep on experimenting every day uh, apart from this uh, well known uh, websites and uh, uh, social media uh, platforms given that i would start with word of caution there are as my personal experiences and and it's 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 an universal experience that you know you cannot rely on open source intelligence 100% there are a lot of noises on that and that noises distracts everybody and if we are not careful in chiseling them off we are certainly going to be following a wrong path now where why there are i mean now now we all know 
that this fake news has become a in thing. Now it is very difficult to find a fact, true fact these days. We can find fake news uh, in lot many uh, numbers and it is overwhelming us. Uh, there's, there's a phrase for that, for that you know, there, there, as they say that uh, um, uh, ap ap apocalypse will end this world. Now there, the new word for the apocalypse is that infocalypse, fake information will, uh, I mean, ruin this world. Now, that being so, if we are being getting dependent on open source intelligence, we must be careful in separating fake from the real. And that, that requires a lot of skill. And that, that is where intelligence analysis and expertise in intelligence uh, shifting uh, becomes very, very important. And now I would, I would, I am a very strong votary and I would suggest that all exam, fraud examiner structures should have an, a setup for intelligence, OS intelligence analysis, where we are able to separate fact from the falsehood. Because it, 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 it requires a lot of effort to establish a credibility of information requires a lot of effort because it has to be, every ingredient of that is to be verified on the ground, physically. Otherwise, it, it, it is quite possible and it is, I mean, we all have, I mean, I, I, I don't, I mean, I can confess that there are several times we have been led on the wrong path only because we could not establish the credibility of information. And if, like, you know, now, now there is a phrase going WhatsApp University. If WhatsApp University starts start peddling PhD papers on falsehood, I mean, the time will come if we are not discerning uh, enough, the time will come that we'll start uh, assuming those things to be correct. So th this is a very, very important danger. And as a fraud examiner, because we only have to establish the truth. We have to be very, very careful about that. Yeah. Now, again, that's most second, you know, this OS int is not a very, uh, it's not a new thing. It is a, in the intelligence domain since I would say World War I. But, uh, but then the, at that time, it was only confined to knowing the strategic, knowing the um, um, knowing about a strategic weapon of the other country and what what <clears throat> researches are going on in that field. So those days it was research papers which were authentic. I mean, from uh, universities and colleges. I mean, so from universities uh, or from uh, say the known companies. Uh, that were important and people wanted to collect and study those research paper and, uh, I mean, and then uh, come at uh, come to conclusion about what is happening. Now, that was also that is also a kind of OSN because it was all published on a public forum. But then, you know, as the thing has started growing, now what we have now we are we have come to a place where encryption is very very in thing. Now we all. We all thrive for encrypted communication uh, because you know that's a question of privacy. Once we once we go into encrypted uh, communication, then there is no OS intelligence because nothing what what is whatever is available on public uh, platform would be some garbled message because it's all encrypted. Now there 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 is not no no difference between what. German Enigma tra transmitted in coded language and what we will transmit in encrypted uh, uh, manner to uh, on WhatsApp platform. So now that is that is going to raise complication. So maybe even if we are trying to tap uh, uh, open source intelligence later year, in later years, we also have to understand about encryption and decryption, which is very, which will be again important thing, despite information being on uh, open platform, uh, it will be difficult to decipher those. But then there's aspect to it, that is what we call metadata. The thing that if say, 
Prabhakar Alok is communicating with ACFE. Now that that data will always be available, but what he is communicating. sorry, would, would not be available. So we'll have to make some compromises and we'll have to uh, uh, create a system where we will have to circumvent these difficulties because then the importance of OSINT will be, will be lost. So our takeaway for OSINT in corporate intelligence is very, very simple, that it is OSINT is very, very important for corporate intelligence. That is take number one. Number two take is that every entity is embedded in a social context. Entity meaning individual and the corporate entity. If that is so, then social and a network analysis is an important tool from the OS Int that will reveal red flags and otherwise. Number three, there should be an analysis wing in the OS in, uh, setup of corporate intelligence, which will be able to differentiate, separate fact from the truth. Uh, sorry, fact from the fa falsehood. And number four, we should prepare for encrypted messages, encrypted communication on uh, uh, OS in platform that will complicate our issues. That being so, at the, on uh, uh, for the present, there are several instruments which are available and being being added every day, which will be useful for OS int analysis and OS int gathering collection for corporate intelligence. I'll stop here and I'll welcome any question on this. To supplement what Prabhakar said, there are simple things. For example, in one of the cases, he is also aware. Somebody in a major corporate investigation, he claimed that the beneficiary of the corporate fraud entity, I mean entity under investigation, the beneficiary is not known to him. We simply went through the Facebook post six, seven years back. These fellows traveled abroad and posted photos along with the families. Hello. Yeah, please. Ah, yes, yeah. sir. You are audible. Sir. Really Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. The simply we took out the extracts from the his own Facebook page and produced them as evidence in the court of law for the attachment of the properties the other person held as a binami. Initially, he claimed he doesn't, he doesn't there were no transactions identifiable in the last five years. But fortunately, we're going through the social media posts and all that made it possible. Today, Jobakar, you take it. Entire related party transactions, a open end source like uh, a, a spider web, etc., are there. People to see analysis. Okay, if you see the analysis, it leads you, as Prabhakar rightly said, it is a red flag only. Further gathering of information should be there to supplement your findings to prove it as a true or untrue. It is a red flag system, basically. It is a red flag system. But the open source intelligence, we are not able to fully utilize what is in the public domain, which is not at all difficult to, I think, Prabhakar, next time, we have to present one or two live cases by camouflaging the names, how we started the process of intelligence, how it led to investigation and all that. Of course, questions are meant for you, not for me. You can answer those questions. Rajagopal, you can read out questions to Prabhakar, sir. Anna, you unmute yourself. Uh, yeah, what, sir, what, uh, what advice would you give for someone who is interested in pursuing a dedicated career in OSINT analysis within a corporate setting? Oh, what advice? 
it's very you know, I, I am i am also a part part of a, a course curriculum in rashtriya raksha university uh, in which we are uh, designing something for corporate uh, intelligence analysis so my advice would be to be join that course if it is on. no no mohammed is uh, just there, said, there's someone who said no, no. Permit me uh, unmute uh, Muhammad Ejaz. He has done quite of invest some investigations. He wanted to say something. You can permit him. Ejaz posted a question. Once again, sir, I'm just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, sir. So recently, uh, myself, Mohammed Ijaz, I have uh, taken a course uh, with the Basel Institute of Non Governance. So they do have a lot of uh, courses. So one one of the courses like uh, uh, OSINT, Open Source and, uh, Intelligence. So the course was the uh, it was like uh, very informative and very interactive. I just wanted to share the course a free of cost, and also I have summarized the course. And if panel accepts, I can also share it, share it. No, you can share later. Brief yeah. tape, things can be posted here and we will circulate to all the members who are interested. Sure. They will get back to you, Mohamed Sure. I know, I know what uh, you are, the background of work you are doing also. Very interesting work. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, somebody is asking a question, Prabhakar. Uh, is there a platform where we can gather all social media platform related info for investigation purpose like LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. in one go? Yeah, yeah, that is what I forgot. I'll share it with you. Uh, yeah. there's, there's, a, there's, it starts with intelligence. Um, I just forgot. I, I'll, I'll post it with you. There is one platform. There is one platform. We'll I share with us. We'll share with the members with your permission. Yeah. No, no, spider web is there. Marta is there. So many, two, three are there, which we use. I'll also share with those who are interested what we use. Yeah. Yeah. Vitesh yeah. uh, Bhatia mentioned IntelX dot io. I have not used this. I have not heard about this. Okay. 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 Whatever you use, you share with us. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. I, but, yeah. yeah. Please go ahead, sir. Yeah. I mean, I, if somebody was asking any question. Yeah. We just share the Basel Governance ORG post. People who are interested can go through that leisurely. Any any other questions, live cases? And one, one second risk we are this thing encryption, decryption apart, as Mr. Prabhakar rightly put it, OS intelligence is a very powerful tool, but it got its severe limitations because it will indicate red flags only. It needs a lot of further investigation and inputs to conclude whether there is really wrongdoing or not, connection between the crime, criminal, and the proceeds of crime or not. Okay. All investigation work is very tedious. It is not at all romantic. What we read in books. If you read some of the Prabhakar's books, you will understand the intelligence game is so tedious work. And it will tax heavily on you and your family also. So anyway, uh, we, I am not here to talk. I, am, I, I must permit our guest to talk. Please, any questions to him, sir? No, actually, I will add, add to what Sharath had said. That, you know, intelligence will only give you leads. What what we will say that it will only tell you red flags. Uh, after that, a lot of work is to be done to uh, really establish whether these red flags are there, uh, right there, or if they are just uh, false flags. Uh, that is what, and it's a very tedious job. It's a very tedious job. You know, in our uh, job, we always uh, said that, assume that red flag is there, always there, unless it is proven wrong. So the entire effort is to prove that it is not there. So, and that's where, uh, you know, your skill required and intelligence will only show you that, yes, there is a red flag. I think some echo is coming. Some mics are. Yeah, please. Sharath, you are on, you are on mute. No, no, no. My, my point is, there are two facets to open source intelligence. First of all, 
the data form that is raw data is available how to gather data he mentioned four wives and uh, one husband there is a beautiful Fine. thing i also follow where what how and all that what to look for where to look for how to look for in that who when where what and how so if you recall this you can go on discounting it or adding it depending on the strength of information you gather okay and the most important thing is i found lacking is fraud examiners themselves seniors should orient their colleagues and juniors to who are more tech savvy to how to monitor the open source intelligence they are the better people to spend more time on open source intelligence and come back to you with the inputs which you can discount or accept and decide where to go further this is one area seniors trying to do everything by their own by their own is not a right practice i feel by which act number one you are not developing your juniors to grow number two you are restraining your ability in doing routine things am i right prabhakar yes Team. yes yes Yes. There also should be emphasized upon. I, I, I mean, I, I don't hesitate in clearing that. We are open for any questions. Vijay Singh was you are technically very savvy. I expected some questions from you to Prabhakar sir. If Vijay is there, Sharma Garu, Chandrasekhar Sharma Garu. Okay, Raju Gopal. Thank, thank you, Alok Ji, for enlightening enlightening our members with your rich experience. And I would like uh, just to invite Garu to chat moment, a digital version moment. We will forward it to your address uh, within a week's time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Then Shekhar Sharma Garu. Do you have any points? I thought uh, you will be asking some question to Mr. Prabhakar because you are good in technical facet. He is going to talk to us in the evening about artificial intelligence ethics. Okay. Mr. Sharma is going to address us in the evening, Prabhakar. Okay, okay. Hmm. You know, sir, anything from Mr. Prabhakar specifically? Uh, he, he has told a lot of things around voice int and uh, I think it's very thoughtful and they, they are very... But Anna, you, you share all the voice int platforms on tools so that permit us to circulate among our ACFT community. Yeah, yeah, definitely because all available online. I, yeah. I just, I um, mean, I was trying to relocate it. I could not, but I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll send you, it to you. If you share with me with your permission, we'll share with uh, our colleague members. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Why not? Why not? Okay. So thank you very much. In spite of your ill health, you have taken uh, trouble to address us. Take care of the health and thank you once again. We look forward to you presenting a case using OS intelligence from the open source investigation, sorry, intelligence investigation, gathering data and going further sometime during the coming 22, 23, 24 financial. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.